Mount Max 1. We'll start off with our Full Mag Plus 1 basic reliability test. There's our 1 and our Full Mag. Let's see how it does. Alright, so we are going to uh, do some reliability checking with lighter loads. We're starting here with the Remington Golden Sabre. It's 185 grain. And uh, check that out. So let's see what we get. Working well. And now we're going to test something even lighter. This is the Federal Low Recoil 165 grain uh, ammunition. Still running. All right, so we have the um, Llama Max One and 45, and it's a you know full size 40, uh, full size 45. It's a full size 1911. Um, you know, aesthetically, it's your your basic black gun. And yes, I talk about the aesthetics, and yes, I'm a girl, so sue me. Um, that said, there's some pretty cool things with that. Um, as you can see, there is a really nice little rest for your thumb to sit in, which is great when you have you know, girl size hands and you're trying to operate a full size gun. Um, the weight of the gun is actually really nice. This is pretty easy to shoot. Um, it grouped okay. Um, and, you know, they've got some cute little details on the slide. It's easy to use. It's easy to function. It's got a safety that I can grab. I can't get to the slide release. It's a full size gun. It's just not going to happen. But it's easy enough with your supporting hand to grab it. Um, there is a little bit more of a break on or a wall I should say on the trigger than I would prefer. I'd like to have that wall and then it go and you kind of hit that wall and you hit that wall and then it goes. Um, and that could just be that the it needs to get broken in. Um, I can get to the mag release pretty easy with this one which is a surprise. And overall I mean as 1911s are it's it's comfortable in the hand. So um, you know, would I like to see it prettier? Well, yeah, I would, of course. But do they have some nice features on it? They do. As you saw in our unboxing and tabletop of the Llama Max 1, the machining and fit on this thing is impeccable. Now, obviously at uh, an MSRP of only around 500 bucks, which means street price maybe in the low fours, uh, you can't expect to have the upgraded hammer and things. And this gun certainly reminded me why we moved to those hammers. Um, I got a little bit of hammer bite on the web of my hand, which happens with big hands. And as you can see, the hammer extending just, I mean, it's right there on the edge with the end of the grip safety. So if you've got a fat hand and you stick your hand up too high, that's gonna happen. And that's historically what has happened with 1911s and why we moved to the rounder hammers. I would got a little bit of bite under my thumb from the edge of the safety. But you know, those are things that are easily and inexpensively changed at home and you can get exactly what you want, sort of like changing the grip on your AR-15. No one complains about that, no one expects anything fancy. Certainly shot well. We were using Fiocchi ammunition today. Uh, they're running the mill load, not anything at match or extreme like that, but um, shot well. And uh, I wish that my first 1911 had been one of these 
rather than going with a more expensive model they ended up dumping tons of money into uh, to get performance that matches what this has right out of the box. Just to be honest with you.